Hi everyone, welcome to my review of Yasujiro Ozu's What Did The Lady Forget? in 1937. Um, so here we are, another Ozu review, and it comes of course, you know, another um, you know, BFI double pack. Um, this was on DVD, um, and yeah, again, the print was not good, and it was pretty bad quality, but basically, yes, I rewatched this today, and um, yeah, it was the second Ozu that I ever saw um, back in December last year. Um, this is a rewatch, of course. And yes, basically, um, it was after Brothers and Sisters of the Toda family. Um, I watched that was my first Ozu. And yes, basically, um, you know, by this point, I, I kind of thought in my mind, um, yes, this guy is going to be one of my favourite directors. If he can pull off, you know, ones consistently like this, and, you know, based on the acclaim of the Noriko trilogy, especially Tokyo Story, you know, late spring, um, I thought, wow, these are considerably better than these ones, uh, you know, late spring and that. Oh, then then this guy could be one of my favourite directors. Um, here we are, almost a year later, and he's in my top 10, and I've watched, you know, 13 now uh, overall. Um, so that's great. You know, it kind of came true, kind of thing. And yes, basically, um, them films did top this, you know. Um, this is not one of his best films, um, but I still think it's a great film. Um, you know, it's kind of a minor Ozu great, you could say, which is kind of, you know, kind of, it is kind of, um, it's funny because, you know, even he's making these very, very light films uh, like this is, um, you know, very short. Um, it's actually, you know, I checked my Blu-ray, you know, player top time and it actually is only 68 minutes. Um, I checked it beforehand because, um, you know, I kind of, um, I heard, you know, um, at the time it was very, very short and um, I'd forgotten how short it was, um, you know, on this rewatch. And 68 minutes, you know, it's very, very short. Um, and basically, it's a very, very light film. Um, it's, it's not claimed, you know, really, this one, you know, too much. It's not really that seen. Um, probably about 700 votes on IMDb um, in total. And, you know, that is very, very low. You know, even, uh, I guess, even a lot of people that have, you know, seen quite a few Ozu films have put, may have not have seen this. Um, you know, not a lot of people have actually ever really talked about this one. It's probably one of his least, you know, um, acclaimed um, of his whole filmography. And yes, it's before, you know, his, his post-war stuff, you know, late spring and everything. Um, and yeah, basically I think it's a great film. Um, I loved it the first time around. Um, and actually, I love it even more this time. Um, as I say, it's not, you know, one of his best. Um, I don't think it's his worst that I've seen. I still, you know, I think I, I like this more than um, Equinox Flower, um, you know, and um, the other one would probably be um, Floating Weeds. You know, I think this is maybe just round about the same in terms of quality, but I think I do prefer this, um, you know, personal preference. And I know Floating Weeds is one of the most, you know, claimed films, um, but yeah, I do I do prefer this. And yes, you know, it's a very, very light film. Um, you know, basically, uh, Kamiya um, is a professor um, in Tokyo, a professor of medicine, um, and basically, yeah, he's played by um, Tatsu Sato, um, who is a great, great actor. Um, of course, he's an I Was Born But, you know, that's probably... His, you know, biggest role that I've seen him in. Um, he was wonderful there. And he's great here, you know, very, very likeable um, as the professor. And of course, um, Sumiko Kurashima um, plays Tokiko, the wife um, of the professor. And yes, basically, um, they have a niece, uh, Setsuko, played by um, Machiko Kuwano. Um, and basically, she comes to stay, this niece, um, Setsuko, and she comes to stay um, with them for a while and um, she's very very outspoken um, you know a bit rebellious and stuff she, she smokes and everything like that you know and basically yeah going against the norm but yes it kind of um, the relationships uh, you know of course between um, Kumiya and Tokiko um, is very very you could say uh, unstable um, you know there's a lot of arguing and she kind of she controls him quite a lot um, and then this niece comes and of course she basically um, tries to defend you know the professor um, try and make him stand up for himself more you know and um but it's not all that, it's not just that, it's very, very complex with that relationship. And yeah, the rest, you know, there's also, um, you know, kind of a friend um, of the family and everything, and he's uh, played by Suji Saino. Um, great, great actor. Um, he, he, he was great in all the Oses I've seen so far. And yeah, he's in the film, um, and I absolutely adored all that stuff. Um, there's a romance that forms between these <laughs> two, um, Setsuko and, and, and um, Suji Saino's character, and basically, um, you know, it's, it's just so stunning, this film. Um, I have just a couple of flaws, really, with this. Um, and very, very light. You know, it's, it's kind of more of a comedy than a lot of the other one, ones I've seen. Um, but it is, you know, um, a wonderful film. You know, it's, it's not, as I say, you know, it's, it doesn't... The other thing, you know, the couple of flaws, but the thing that doesn't quite, um, you know, allow it to reach a masterpiece level is the fact that it doesn't 
you know, move me to tears or anything quite, um, it doesn't, it doesn't quite have masterful, um, a narrative masterfully, you know, written in front of that, you know, it's not, not quite a masterpiece, you know, it's not on that level quite, uh, and it's just really one floor, you know, that crops up twice really, and it's kind of just for three minutes, and that is the Kabuki um, theatre stuff, um, because I've seen late spring and all this kind of stuff, and that's how you do it well, um, you know, where there's actual character development going on within this. In this film, you know, the Kabuki stuff um, it is just kind of, goes on for about three minutes, um, and you don't really see any of the, the characters' um, interactions, emotions, um, it's not really got enough uh, meaning to actually warrant this, um, it's kind of, one, one of the shots goes on for about a minute, and it's just the back of their heads and stuff, and yeah, I just think, Maybe that could, didn't have to be in there on this occasion, um, or at least it could have been done better. You know, you could have seen more you know, kind of shots um, of the actual characters uh, and actually have stuff going on. Um, you know, late spring, of course, one of the most powerful moments. Um, you know, Sukuhara, where she's in, you know, the Kabuki um, uh, kind of bit there, and you know, there's always something going on in that film um, in them scenes. In this, you know, I, I think it's a bit flat for me, um, but that's really it. That actually, you know, these are the flaws um, really. You know, and it crops up twice, really, the, the Kabuki stuff, and it just isn't done as well as it could have been um, for me personally. And the other thing is just, yes, it just doesn't quite elevate to, to a level that, you know, it's full marks or masterpiece. Um, so very, very little flaws for me, and uh, it just doesn't quite go that level. But this is a great film, um, I think. You know, Komiya um, was a great character um, in this, you know. Tatsu Sato, um, really great performance, you know. I really got um, invested in this character. Um, Kind of feel sorry for him at times, um, you know, and as a professor, and I love the scenes um, in the actual university. Uh, it's a hilarious moment. Um, and one of the students, um, basically, he's sleeping, and um, and everyone laughs around him, and then he gets up, um, kind of thinking that the class has ended, and then he, he, it's just hilarious. Um, just watch the film and find out. But yes, basically, it's a really, really funny film. Uh, this, you know, the comedy is, is written really amazingly well. Um, I think never goes over the top. Um, and it's just really, really um, lovely, you know, this film. It's, it's a wonderful, you know, uplifting film. Um, it's not really that dark at all. Um, it's a couple of moments towards the end, you know, a couple of arguments, but really, this is not a dark film, you know, whatsoever. This could be the, probably is the lightest Ozu that I've ever seen um, out of the 13. Because, you know, brothers and sisters of the total family, someone dies in that film. Um, no one dies in this, um, you know, and there's no, you know, there's no funerals. Um, there's not really any, you know, moments where people, you know, are upset in a way, you know, like these other ones. Um, and it's just, it has a very particular tone. Um, it's very, very upbeat, you know, you could say. Or, you know, maybe Good Morning um, is, is, you know, probably his lightest one. But, um, yeah, yeah, probably Good, probably good Morning. Um, but this one, along with that, is the lightest one I've seen. Um, and, you know, because Good Morning is actually mainly a comedy. Um, and, yes, basically... This film just really, um, it's, it's, it's very, very short, you know, 68 minutes, you know, you'd think um, that, that wouldn't be, you know, amount maybe in the in the wrong hands, you know, wouldn't amount to much, but, you know, Ozu, um, just, the characters are so well defined, you know, and he <coughs> co-wrote the script, I believe, um, again, um, the music as well by Senji Ito, um, wonderful music, um, a lot more playful here, you know, um, and yes, upbeat, jolly, uh, you could say, um, and just um, the character is so well defined, you know, I think um, straight away drawn in again um, with some comedy in there as well. Um, and it's just, you know, it just brings, you know, this world um, to life. You know, it just really is. Um, draws you in um, to, you know, of course he elevates, you know, what really is to kind of everyday stuff. Um, but it's not with Ozu really. It's everything is meaningful, you know, in Ozu film really. Um, and just once again, you know, it's just... Um, Another experience, you know, that, that I've never really seen in any films, you know, it's, it's really the Ozu experience, you know, not to say that this is kind of um, better than any other film that I've seen. Um, some of his best ones are pretty much better than most films I've seen, of course, because some of them are in my top 100, but this one, you know, it's not um, it's not better than, you know, pretty much every film, but it really it has a particular, you, you know, tone to the film. Um, it's still the Ozu kind of experience that you never get with anything else, because you know, no one really, um, in this particular way, elevates these everyday, uh, you know, tasks and just kind of goings-ons, um, and kind of, yeah, it just really has, um, a very particular, um, feeling, uh, this one, it's, it's a comedy mainly, you know, it's a very, of course, melodrama, um, but it really, it's so meaningful, um, and, you know, I just got 
really, really invested in this romance as well. Um, essential romance. I loved the relationship, you know, the dynamics between, um, you know, to Kiko and um, Kamiya. And um, it's, you know, it's played for comedy, um, but it is, you know, one that is very, very well, you know, kind of developed. And um, I just got so invested and there was some really good drama there, um, some great drama um, and, you know, some great comedy at the same time. You know, it's kind of um, these great sequences, you know, that just, Ozu kind of, you know, wonderfully writes and directs and of course performances from everyone um, are great. You know, I think even the side characters, once again, in Ozu film is very, very memorable. Um, you've got some um, kind of appearing faces as well, um, you know, in the film. And um, basically, yeah, you know, you have, um, you know, a really great ending to the film. Um, and, you know, it's, it's just it's just a wonderful film that comes together. Um, very, very short, um, but it kind of kind of wraps up everything perfectly, um, you could say, and I just really, really love this film. Um, I think, once again, you know, the way this film is shot, um, you know, it's masterful. Um, every Ozu film that I've seen is masterfully shot, you know, it seems at times, with a film like this, he just kind of bangs it out, and kind of, um, very, very light film, short film, but it's perfect in, you know, in, in the way it looks. Um, the cinematography is wonderful. The editing, you know, um, just stunning, uh, once again. You know, it's kind of it's kind of a film like this. Um, you know, it's just it's it's a great film for me. I feel I feel it's a great film. Um, but it's just it's such a kind of it, you you know Ozzy. You could imagine him kind of um, or it seems like this, and this is the mark of a great director. Kind of just <clears throat> breezily kind of um, making it, and it's just it's obviously not always the case. But you know, because it's so because it's so light, but also so you know powerful in its own way and, and spiritual um, once again you know, he really uplifts and, and kind of has this mystical feel to all of his films um, I've seen. And yeah, it's just so unique, um, full of charm, you know, this one really is. Um, in the performances, you know, in the, the kind of the sequences, um, I loved the, the kind of bit where the guy's tutoring um, and, you know, of course, uh, Sasuko comes in and the globe scene, um, one of my favourites, um, absolutely loved that scene. Um, you know, it goes on for about five, ten minutes maybe um, and it's just so joyous um kind of just seeing the, these kids as well with him working out um these problems you know the homework and everything and it's just it's so funny and it's also you know very very touching um beautifully human and i love you know ozu um as i've said before the way he kind of um explores childhood um even in the film like this where they're not really in the film really too much again and but apart from early on but you know he just explores um he captures childhood so well, it's so true to life, um, it's so charming, and it's just, you know, sincere, kind of um, hopeful, you know, you just see, it's just about, you know, learning, um, which is part of life, and he just shows this with, you know, the utmost care, um, and it's just wonderful to see, um, you know, the progression um, of life and everything, and it's just, yeah, very, very, you know, contemplative. Um, I think the last 10 minutes of this are stunning, um, I loved you know, the bits involving the kind of golf stuff there, you know, it's great. And just seeing the, these, you know, these characters, especially the professor, um, go about their lives, um, once again, is wonderful. Um, you know, Ozu just kind of um, giving me a film that I absolutely love. Um, and, you know, I can watch it um, as many times as I want and um, just revisit this kind of um, comfort film, you know, you could say it's very much that. Um, and it's just wonderful. Um, as I say, you know, the flaws really, it's just some of the Kabuki stuff. Um, maybe it wasn't even necessary for this film, um, but if it, you know, if it, you know, as it is in there, you know, I think it could have been done a bit better. Um, you know, it just wasn't, wasn't really enough going on with the characters that I, you know, I'd seen for about half an hour and then this, you know, Kabuki stuff comes up and there wasn't really anything going on with them characters um, in this. And yeah, it was just a bit, um, bit flat. Um, but yes, that's really it. And of course, it doesn't quite reach... Um, even, you know, without them flaws, um, it doesn't really reach level of mastery. Um, not quite, um, not far off, um, because it really is a stunning film where all the characters, you know, are great. Um, it was very, very satisfying. There's a whole really sh wonderful arc, you know, of this character, Setsuko. Um, she's a really great, strong character um, and, you know, wonderful arcs in the film. Um, but it doesn't, you know, go to a level that's really, really um, emotionally draining or you know, it's to a level that is just so masterfully executed, it kind of blows me away in, in, in every area. Um, 
it's not you know far off being a masterpiece um, too much, um, but yeah, no, it's not not quite there um, for, for the reasons I've said. Um, sometimes it is hard to kind of you know say how a great film is not quite a masterpiece, but it just doesn't you know a masterpiece has to be you know really really um, mind blowing in every area really for me. Um, and this is in, a, is in a lot of areas, you know, but it doesn't quite have the the emotion, um, the kind of the way that it kind of um, moves me in a way, or yeah, basically, um, it just doesn't go there for me. Um, but yes, it's another Ozzy film that I love. You know, I loved it the first time, and actually, you know, my rating has increased a couple of percentage. Um, last time, I think I gave it a ninety-three percent. Um, you know, back in you know December. Um, this time I'd have to give it 95%, um, I think. It's a great film, no doubt. Um, I loved it, I got so invested. Um, a very, very comforting film. Um, this is more you know, of a comfort film than one that is gonna you know, shatter you emotionally. Um, but it's so well executed. Um, very, very spiritual and moving in its in its own way. Um, very, very short, but it kind of, it has you know, a lot of different stages of life um, within the film again, like Ozu does. Um, the childhood stuff, um, you've got the kind of the couple, you know, that are bickering and stuff, um, and he explores that wonderfully. You've got, you know, some kind of neighbours and, and friends of the family and all this kind of stuff. Um, and of course, you've got this uh, this great romance as well that kind of um, subtly develops throughout the film. You know, I love the appearances from all the, you know, some of the Ozu regulars. Um, of course, Tatsu Sato um, being, you know, the best character in the film probably. Um, and yeah, I just absolutely loved it. I think this is a wonderful film, charming film. Um, you know, I think. I think I do prefer it to Floating Weeds. You know, you know, I can I can watch probably watch this again and um, you yeah, know more than Floating Weeds and, and no not not in that way. I'd probably I'd probably say I can I would want to watch this you know um, more than Floating Weeds. Um, to, uh, yeah, it's more of a comfort film for me. Um, I connected to it a bit more um, than Floating Weeds, but I give it the same score. Um, and yeah, you know, <laughs> what's better? I kind of I. I probably say it's very, very close. Uh, maybe even give the edge to this. Um, absolutely adored it. Um, and yeah, another one that Ozu, you know, Ozu filmography, it's not, not talked about really at all. Um, and for me, it's a great film. You know, that might just be <laughs> me kind of loving Ozu so much that you know, I don't know. You know, I just think um, I try to to kind of you know with this um, and these minor ones, minor ones, kind of um, think you know. Is there anything really to, to kind of um, call it less than great? And it's just not for me. You know, I've given every Ozu film of the 13, you know, I've watched a great rating. Um, and it's simply, guys, you know, for the fact that he is that good. You know, I think he's the greatest Japanese director of all time. You know, and um, this is not me kind of being blind and everything. Um, he really, you know, this film is not talked about. Um, but it's a great film for me. You know, I think um, it's just a case of he's so good, you know, that he, he kind of... It was so masterful that even these very, very small light films, um, under 70 minutes long, um, are just so great, you know, so so lovely, you know, it's just so um, human, uplifting, um, so well crafted, you know, the editing, cinematography, everything, wonderful use of music. Um, it's just, you know, a wonderful film. Um, and the characters, you know, um, the very, very um, strong arcs of the film, um, the way it explores life, um, quite a few stages here and there within this short time um, but manages to make a film it's just truly great um, for me you know that's just it you know I think it is a 95 you know it is a great film um, and that's you know, yes I honestly think that it is a great film and um, you know because it's not I'm saying it's because it's not acclaimed uh, really and I just think you know even the, the lesser Ozu films you know are not lesser films they're mostly great um, you know I've Yes, maybe, you know, I'll get to some soon, that maybe it won't be great, but, um, you know, I'll, I'll, I guarantee I'll never see a bad Ozu film, and, um, yeah, an absolute master director, and this is a great film, not quite a masterpiece um, for me, <laughs> but a great film, uh, nevertheless, and, um, yes, thanks for watching my review, of course, there'll be more up, um, you know, probably, um, maybe not a whole week away from now, but, um, you know, Next few days, maybe I might watch um, another one. I was wanting to watch Tokyo Twilight, um, but this one just, you know, I, w I wanted to watch this one tonight instead, because um, I had seen it. And yeah, you know, that, there we have it. Um, thanks for watching my review.